Okay, check this out, guys. We got a full auto six shooter. We've got a badass over here. On today's episode is Bigger Better. We will be comparing a small barrel handgun to a couple large barrel handguns and see what happens. Fortunately, my chronograph is still a little injured from the previous video I did, so we won't be comparing velocities today, but we will be comparing accuracy, grouping. I got some paper targets. Uh, I'm gonna get close, set the paper up, and then we're gonna step. This is, I'll step it off. It's at least 50 yards. And then we will be comparing a 45. This is, uh, I think a four and a half or I think it's four and a half inch barrel. It's a pretty small 45 barrel compared to the 1911 with a 16 inch barrel on this thing. So I never did actually like compare them that far out. And then 22s, we got the Walther P22, which actually is a really good barrel. It's three inch, three and a quarter, pretty small. And then the Ruger single six, I think it's five and a half. You know, I should have probably measured these barrels before I started this video, but you know, whatever <laughs> and then the heritage rough rider with a 16 inch barrel so uh before we get that started i'm actually one i know how these barrels shoot this one uh shoots close to a thousand feet a second i did other videos on it just under a thousand feet a second which is pretty good for 45 with a 16 inch barrel and i got these ops rounds uh one precise shot they are 95 100 no 150 grain, they go just over 1,100 feet a second. And with this barrel, it's, I think, just over 1,300 feet a second, which is good for the 45 and especially still 150 grain bullet. So before we get the video started, we're going to load, uh, I'm going to see if I can catch one and see what kind of damage it does to them, or water jugs. Okay, this is the OPS round. It's uh, 150 grain. These are really nice ammo. A uh, very low recoil, hit very hard, and we're pretty close here. Okay, I thought something malfunctioned catastrophically bad because I got annihilated with water. I thought something happened. <laughs> I, thought, I thought the gun exploded. I got hit with so much water so hard. So, uh, everything soaked. I didn't think that would happen that bad. I'm telling you, them bullets are savages, man. Uh, looks like it definitely... Wow, there's part of the bullet. So, it barely... Let me get uh, situated here. Let me get you guys set up better. Okay, this happened in the last video I did when I'm shooting these. There's like some kind of styrofoam or something in there. I don't know what it is, clay or something. It completely dissipated all of its energy on the first jug and hit the second jug so hard it just cracked it open. There's like a little bit of clay or whatever that material is in there. It's just part of the jacket there. Like I said, I was right here. Everything got soaked. Hmm. Okay, now I got another OPS round uh, water jug, about 25 yards down there. And let's see if I can get her. There we go. It was a little bit low. I was practicing there, and it was like it shoots really good. It's really finicky though. Like I noticed that. Like I uh, I was shooting a little bit high, so I aimed lower and it was shooting pretty low like it seems to shoot pretty good though so i'll get a paper target up there well i got my metal set up maybe i'll just start plinking from here then we'll set the paper up and see what we can do for grouping wise that might be more entertaining too so let's do that okay we're gonna start off with the biggest 22 first because this kind of is pissing me off maybe you guys know something about them i don't think the firing or like the firing pins get it like when i release the hammer going a little bit further it's not shooting all the rounds but the ammo is very old it's like ammo i've been having problems with so why i brought it out today but the ruger is working good and i mean it feels so much better compared to that but we're about 
50 some yards and I got six shots in each see you know what I mean I don't know what in the absolute fuck nope. I'll let you know if I hit okay so the stupid rough rider is being a rough rider and it just won't work uh, let me empty it out here real quick show you guys what the hell's going on maybe you guys know it seems like the firing pin isn't like going down the whole way it's empty okay let's see if you guys can see there like it goes but then watch see like the hammer doesn't go the whole way it's not I cleaned it out because it was really dirty but just I don't know what's holding the hammer back I don't know if it's a like I don't know maybe them screws are loose it's amazing but the Ruger, I mean, this thing is built so much better. Old guns, man, it's just, they're built so much better. These new ones just fucking suck. Fuck you, Heritage Rough Rider. Okay, we get six rounds in the Ruger single six. And it says about 50 yards down there. And I, I was doing some practice shots, and uh, you got to really hold just precise to get it, but... I probably won't be able to do it now that the camera's on. I'll let you know if I hit. That might have been. I couldn't tell. Come on, baby. <laughs> I can't do it now. Dang, couldn't do it. All right, let's try with the uh, DeWalter here. Hey, right, we got a few rounds in the Walter here. Nah, let's try it. It has a small barrel. Oh, I either hit it or hit right to the left of it. yourself fool there we go <laughs> I, said last, I, was, I was just goofing around I was just waiting for the last one I right, let's try 45s here okay I just got uh, I think five rounds loaded up this is Ruger P97 which is less than five inches oh god it's gonna be hard Man, the recoil on this gun. I've been shot forever. Holy hell. There we go. That was a hit. Man. Dude, the recoil was crazy on this thing. God damn. There we go. <laughs> oh, wait. What happened? You just got jammed. One fell out. <laughs> uh. I don't know. Let's just call that a fluke. We got one more here. Ah, that was my fault. I pulled that one. Man, this thing freaking recoils, though. I haven't shot this gun in ages. Holy hell, that thing kicks, man. 445. Okay, this thing don't kick. I think I'm so used to shooting this gun. Whenever I shoot another 45, I'm like, huh. Some recoil to it. Just, just high, a little high. I was a little okay. I remember this one. Ah man, I was dancing all around it. It was showing pretty good. I'm surprised at the Ruger though, man. I mean, barrel length. What I'm going to do, I'll pull that uh, wood up here. We'll put paper up and see what we can do for grouping. Okay, so now we're here pretty close. Do you ever do that thing where you uh, always have your staple gun in your bag and then you go to use it? Like, where's my staple gun at? So it's held up by tire tools. 
and the left I'm going to do 22. I'm going to try the wall through right in the middle. And yeah, maybe we'll go left corner, maybe. Oof, that's shooting left, huh? You just got jammed. Off to a good start, brother. Well, definitely fucking left. Holy hell. Okay, so no wonder I couldn't hit shit with this damn thing, man. God, it's hitting left. Group good, but to the damn left. Single six. Well, I'll get center there so I don't hit my tire tool. <laughs> oh, moving around a little bit. That was my bad there. I don't know if you guys can see with the sun shining there. The wall there grouped good, but definitely left. That was kind of my fault. Same with that one, maybe. Maybe you just get that one, you know. That was hitting high to the right. That's high to the left. Yeah, I mean, I never really shoot them guns. <laughs> Probably should adjust the sights a little bit, especially on a Walther. No wonder I couldn't hit that thing. So let me, uh, I should have shot these first and did that. It would have made a lot more sense. I thought about that too, but I was like, that's stupid. Let's try the 45s. Okay, first up we'll go with the Ruger. I think there's five shots in here. Go to the lower left hand target down there, the diamond. Dude, this thing recoils, man. Grouping good. Oh man. That was my fault there. It's a little. I was trying. It's group good though. I never realized that Ruger actually shot that good. I always shot as a kid, but nah, we'll go in the center with the 1911. Oh, right, hold on one sec. There we go. Ooh, bullseye. I decided. That was my fault there a little bit. That was a little bit my fault. I was shooting off the bench, and then I was trying to shoot freehand. I was kind of a little, a little wobbly, but it's not bad. I mean, it grouped good. So that Ruger did good. So, I mean, barrel length, not really. So, just get out there and practice. <laughs> 